when your heart bleeds inside, he'll wipe those tears from your eyes. You, his child, and he cares for you. Someone who cares yeah, yeah, yeah. is someone to share all your troubles yeah. like an earth.
200 countries will be focused in on the Carolina Panthers and the Denver Broncos. Those of y'all who don't care much about the Panthers, or you're not into the Broncos, just stay, hang around for Beyonce. <laughs> Because she'll be doing the halftime. And uh, I looked at the stats and such unique quarterbacks. and They have the same injuries to other players. And they have been plagued with media mess. All kinds of other situations, but one thing stands out differently about these two teams, and that is that they did not quit. They did not quit. And my dear, this morning we are discovering that there ought to be some injection spiritually that we can carry each church member to God's operating room and just like you get a transfusion some of us need a good shot of endurance we have become a people that have great knowledge but little endurance and, and our text today in this sixth chapter of John and in the 66th six verse if you just hold your Bible right there John 6, 6, 6 we'll get you where you need to be John 6 6, 6 and Jesus says here in this text, in his conversation, that he's talking to his football team. He's addressing the offense and the defense. And he has all of his coaches around him as he gives the pep talk on the way to the Super Bowl called Calvary. Right. And here they've had the playoffs and he won the first round when the devil met him on the mountain of transfiguration and tempted him three times and the Lord told him to get behind him. He made it Round. He got to the second round and it got to be more difficult because his opponent had already watched the films and strategized of who the Lord was going to throw the ball to or who would be the one that he would allow to run down the field to make a touchdown. But he got all the way to the end. And the team started breaking down. The team started to, to fizzle out because things were not going that way. 66 verse says, from that time many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Then, he, then said Jesus unto the twelve, Will you also go away? Then Simon Peter answered and said, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. I want to talk about why we ought not quit. 
It's no secret that churches are filled with church hoppers and church droppers. And we, we satanically shop for churches like you're shopping for a car. You go to find the location you want. If you got some kids, you need a nursery. If you broke, you need a church that's got a big food pantry. You fit the need that you have with the church you want to join. But that's not biblical if you read your church covenant a few moments ago. <coughs> you are here because you've been led here. <coughs> led by the Holy Spirit. And my dear, everything that we encounter about Christ has to do with endurance. Endurance is simply the only true measure we have of if the assurance of a product is worth its value. Assurance of its value. Somebody said the other day, uh, uh, asked me about Helen Lincoln, and, 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 and it almost passed 200,000 miles on it. And the person I was talking to me looked at it and said, you know what? She just never really saw it right. Because of the materials that have been placed into a more expensive vehicle, if there is an expectation of that product to last the duration of its time. And my dear God has aligned us to where you ought to be able to take a licking. And keep on ticking. You ought not fizzle out at the first fire that shows up in your life because there is something on the inside of you that God placed called endurance. Endurance. You don't make it to the Super Bowl of life unless you learn how to endure. Paul told his younger preacher, Timothy, the other day in the second Timothy, he said, man, let me tell you, you're going to have to endure yeah, 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 yeah. some hardness. And my dad, we, we coach football from our living room couches. But I dare you to let one of them big 375 pound men who look like an icebox walking around just gently take you to the ground and see how many paramedics it takes to get you up. Because we have not been trained and we have not the forsake and we, 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 we We've not done what it takes to be in that position, but I can tell you how the game runs on the sideline now. Anybody in the house? And you know what it's like that in life? Folk can give you advice about how to take care of your wife, and they separate you. 